This is MSJ Chem, and in this video, I'm going to look at standard enthalpy change of formation. So let's start with a definition. The standard enthalpy change of formation is the enthalpy change when one mole of a compound is formed from its elements in their standard states under standard conditions. Next, we'll calculate the enthalpy change for a reaction using standard enthalpy change of formation values. So we'll calculate the enthalpy change for this reaction. So it's C3H8, that's propane, burning in oxygen, O2, to form CO2, carbon dioxide, and water, H2O. The equation we're going to use is this one. It's the standard enthalpy change of reaction equals the sum of the standard enthalpy change of formation of the products minus the sum of the standard enthalpy change of formation of the reactants. You can find the standard enthalpy change of formation values in table 12 in the data booklet. The fourth column across shows standard enthalpy change of formation values. An important point to note is elements such as O2, oxygen, have a standard enthalpy change of formation value of zero. So let's put the values from table 12 into the equation. So starting with CO2, the standard enthalpy change of formation value is negative 394 kilojoules per mole. And I multiply this value by 3 because the coefficient in front of the carbon dioxide is 3. Next, H2O. The standard enthalpy change of formation value for H2O is negative 286 kilojoules per mole. And I multiply by 4 because the coefficient in front of the H2O is 4. Next, we'll do the reactants. The standard enthalpy change of formation value for C3H8, propane, is negative 105 kilojoules per mole. Because oxygen is an element, we don't include it in the equation as it has a standard enthalpy change of formation of zero. And when we do the calculation, we get negative 2326 for the products minus negative 105 for the reactants. That gives us a standard enthalpy change of reaction of negative 2,221 kilojoules per mole. Finally, I'd like to look at writing equations for the formation of one mole of a compound from its elements. And the example we look at is C2H5OH, which is ethanol. So this is the equation for the formation of one mole of ethanol from its elements. We have two moles of carbon reacting with three moles of hydrogen gas and half a mole of oxygen to form one mole of ethanol. That's all from this video. Don't forget to check the video description for a link to a practice worksheet.